Hi dear friends, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. I am fine too, I thank God. Welcome back to my channel. If you know that you are a returning subscriber, be blessed for returning back here to watch my videos. Thank you for the support that you always show me, guys. I appreciate much, 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 much. Yeah, but if it is your first time here on my channel, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe automatically, YouTube will turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be the first one to be notified that Bella has uploaded a new video and you'll get to enjoy it. So do that guys and I promise you that you will always enjoy every content that I upload on this channel. So dear friends, I know that you dear beautiful ladies that are online dating apps, dating sites, searching for that right guy, you are kind, you know, frustrated, you know, disappointed. For example, the last love story that I shared here on my channel, oh my God, most of you are like, hmm, maybe this whole thing of searching for a white man, I should just stop it. <laughs> so, Yes, exist bad, bad guys, but at the same time, on online dating sites, if you are careful, if your eyes are wide open, <laughs> if you go in there and search for a quality white man, definitely, you will find that quality white man, that you will marry him and everything will go super you will live your happily ever after because beside bad stories still we have good good stories you know that came out from online dating sites and people have been living together for years stories have worked out <laughs> but again attention guys because i've seen you guys comparing yourselves to some stories like when i talked of you guys to be careful don't marry a white guy within just a week of knowing each other if you're not convinced if you think i don't know him better especially if you haven't seen this guy's life you know on the other side don't marry and someone was like i know a lady married a guy within a week they have been together for more than 10 years so it is all about god I agree. And how many times have I told you guys that God is everything, you know, put God into everything, whether it is relationships, whether it is daily life, God should be your number one. Yeah. Then other things will follow, but you have to help yourself too, because you can't just close your eyes. <laughs> you chat with a guy, he comes and without asking enough enough questions without knowing him well without knowing what he does in his country he has not even introduced to his relatives or you have started to see red flags but you'll be like god will help me and you go ahead and marry that guy <laughs> the marriage will fail oh you're going to suffer you're going to cry okay let's be wiser dear beautiful ladies so like i told you yes exist bad guys on the dating sites and you know what to do which is to just search for equality white guy so in today's video guys i am coming with this beautiful online dating success love story of a zambian lady by the name of toy who found love on online dating site with an italian guy my brother-in-law and his name is Leo. Guys, by watching this video, you still have a lot, a lot to learn from this story. If you are on the dating sites, dating apps, searching for that quality white man or searching for any man of any color. Because last time I told you that a white man is just a man just like any other man of any color. So when you hear me saying a white man, if you are interested in black guys, you just remove a white man and put a black guy because there is no difference. Okay, yeah. So guys, let's get started. <laughs> so dear friends, Toei's love story starts six years ago. And when I asked her, how was her past love relationship experience like? <laughs> told me, Bella, not good. Because I had got some heartbreaks here and there 
from black guys to an extent i started not taking them seriously and during that time Toei had this high school friend a girlfriend <laughs> who always go out on dates, who always receives gifts, money, flowers. And she was there wondering, <laughs> whom is she dating? Because again, tells us at that time, going out with a guy on a date wasn't common in Zambia, where Toei was living. So it was really something that every woman wanted, <laughs> was yearning to have, <laughs> but it wasn't happening because Zambian guys couldn't do that. So as she was wondering the kind of a relationship that her high school friend has, decided to ask her, like, girl, what is your secret? <laughs> you always go out, you always receive flowers, gifts, money. Tell me. <laughs> that high school friend told her that I am dating a white guy. She was like, but I don't think a skin tone of a guy can make him good, <laughs> can make him to be good. That high school friend told her, no, Toei, I promise you that. <laughs> white guys knows how to treat their ladies properly just give it a shot and that's when Toei had to ask the friend like so where do you find these white men because i would also like to have that kind of a relationship you know having a guy that takes me out on a dinner date on dates buys me flowers spoils me with money gifts and all that so again that high school friend told her you have to go to online dating because my own boyfriend i found him on tinder yeah so we heard that and she always dreamt of having such kind of a relationship definitely went and joined tinder tells us that she even talked to other friends that didn't know anything about online dating to join tinder and look for white guys so that they can be taken out on you know these good good days and be spoiled <laughs> yeah and the reason to why she told the friends you know to join tinder tells us she knew all the struggles that other of her friends too were facing dating zambian men so yeah that's why she called them join tinder guys let's join tinder <laughs> so dear friends toy tells us after joining tinder yes had gone with the mindset i want to date white guys but later told herself no i'm not going to be so picky as long as a guy has got a good profile he's good looking i am going to swipe right and yes that is what she could do so it didn't matter whether you are black or white <laughs> a guy's profile mattered yeah <laughs> So she started swiping right, swiping right, and one day swiped right or matched with a Lebanese guy. And at that time, guys, Toei didn't have any experience of how is it like to date a Lebanese guy, or how is it like to date a white man in general yeah so they started chatting tells us that guy was so good looking you know those juicy juicy guys <laughs> that I always talk about so that lebanese guy was so juicy <laughs> so he says he was a guy that really could take a good care of himself yeah so they started chatting everything was going so smoothly apart from being good looking this guy had a sweet tongue when I say a sweet tongue, <laughs> he could sweet talk her. He knew what exactly Toei wanted to hear at that time. Yeah. <laughs> so she was happy that, oh my God, eventually I found the one and it didn't even take me so long. <laughs> but on the other side, Toei is like, I'm someone 
who always likes to do a background check, especially when I start catching feelings with a guy. Yeah, so she went on Google and, you know, typed his name, nothing came up. And she was wondering, how is even this possible? <laughs> yeah, so when she went on Facebook, found that there is a guy who always messaged her for more than a year and she never bothered to respond to him. So when she clicked on those messages, guess what? He was the same same Lebanese guy that Toei matched with on Tinder. Goodness, she got scared and went and talked to her sister. So as she talked to her sister, her sister too told her that the same same guy has been sending her messages. So we was like, what? <laughs> I can't believe this. Went and talked to her friend. So when she talked to her friend, her friend started describing a Lebanese guy that she was chatting to and at the time she discovered the guy was just a player, stopped responding to his messages. Then he got so angry at Toei's friend and started insulting her, started stalking her. In the end, the friend blocked the guy. And he was the same same guy that was chatting with Toei, that Toei thought had found the one. It really broke her heart and she started pulling back. When the guy realized that Toei was pulling back, started stalking her, started harassing her, and what Toei did blocked the guy. But tells us that she was traumatized by all that. To an extent, decided to delete her account on Tinder and was like, no, I am not for dating apps. I am done, done, done. I'll never go back to Tinder also was like i will never ever give a lebanese guy any chance in my life because she thought all lebanese guys act like that guy so dear friends toi lost interest completely on dating apps and sites <laughs> yeah but tells us there was a guy on facebook who kept on messaging her insisting on taking her out for seven good months the guy wasn't giving up this guy was asian so one day toi was at driving school she had started her driving school and tells us it was during lunch time then the guy again sent a message on facebook asking her out you know to take her out for lunch <laughs> tells us she was hungry at that time and there was traffic <laughs> till when she reaches home oh my god <laughs> was dying of hunger so i was like okay i'm not interested in this guy but i'll go out with him anyway just for free lunch this means free lunch for me today <laughs> So she accepted and told the guy they should meet at a certain mall. So yes, Toei went to that mall and found that guy there. He had come with this nice car, but he was dressed normally. It never clicked Toei's mind that that guy was rich. So <laughs> he started asking Toei where she wanted him to take her for lunch. Then Toei was like, we, we can just go on a coffee shop. And then the guy was like, no, I want to take you to a fancy hotel restaurant. So yes, he chose the best fancy hotel restaurant in Lusaka, Zambia, <laughs> and took Toei there. So at the restaurant, when they arrived, they ordered food, started eating. So as they were eating, they started talking, you know, and Toei started, you know, talking about life, you know, randomly like that. Then this guy was looking at her quietly. And when she finished talking, the guy was like, wow, I could marry you. Toy was like, what? <laughs> you don't 
even know me. What are you saying? The guy was like, no, you speak your mind, you seem real, and you're kind similar to me when it comes to your character. <laughs> Toei remained surprised, guys. Then the guy asked Toei, do you like traveling? Toei was like, yes, I like traveling. Then he told her, we should start having trips. But right now we're going to start with small trips. And as we get to know each other, we'll start going on bigger trips. Toei told the guy, yes, I like traveling, but I've never been out of Zambia. And I don't even own a passport. But he told her not to worry. She's going to work on her passport and they will start traveling around the world. <laughs> <laughs> At that time, so we started having, you know, interest in this guy. Like, so this guy can manage to take me on trips. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I can actually date him. <laughs> yeah, at that time, guys, don't judge her. She was still young. Yeah, very, very young. <laughs> and naive. <laughs> but also, guys, because Toei had just started her driving school, couldn't travel. So kept on seeing this guy going on those fancy restaurants, the guy spoiling her, the guy, you know, buying flowers, all that she ever wanted and she started seeing that relationship really heading to marriage in the future <laughs> yes so as they kept on dating then this asian guy started telling her that he likes a lady who puts on makeup and he was like i really wish to see you well dressed up Oh my God, Toei started panicking because those us at that time never even owned a pair of heels. <laughs> Didn't know how to do her makeup. <laughs> but the guy calmed her down and was like, don't worry, you know, you'll do things slowly by slowly. Yeah, but in her heart really wished to one day, you know, fulfill that boyfriend's need, you know, of seeing her well dressed up or you know, with her makeup done. <laughs> but if you see Toei now, if you go through her Instagram account, <laughs> oh my God, she does a very, very good makeup. Oh my God, in heels. And this teaches you who is watching this video, maybe right now you are like Toei at that time, <laughs> didn't know how to do makeup, you like to do makeup but you don't know how to do it, or you don't have even a pair of heels, don't worry. <laughs> don't feel a less of a woman because you don't know how to do makeup or you don't wear heels, no, not at all. If you're willing, like really I'm willing to learn, you will learn and later you will be like a pro. <laughs> one time I shared a photo of day one when I started learning to do eyebrows and those eyebrows that day, I was so proud of myself. <laughs> I'll put it here again so that you can see it because I posted it on Instagram. <laughs> Yeah, so life is a learning process. We learn every day. No one was born knowing everything. <laughs> Don't look at other women and you start putting yourself down, you know, bringing yourself down. Not at all, okay? <laughs> yeah, so let's continue with this story. So yes, guys, they kept on dating and one day when they went for a dinner date, Toei had to ask this guy, you're Asian, and he was born alone, he was the only child. So how are your parents going to react when they come to know you are dating a black? But this Asian guy told her, do not worry, because two of my exes were black women. My parents know that I like black women. And yeah, at that time, she calmed down, was like, okay, so they are going to accept me. He said, yes, they will accept you, no problem at all. So yeah, everything continued to go good, but the pandemic had started. And as we know, it started in China. And when it started, that Asian guy was traveling from Zambia to China. So yes, he traveled but promised Toei to come back to Zambia. So when he reached in China, kept on communicating with Toei whenever he could go out, 
could send messages sometimes he could call they could communicate guys normally like the relationship going so smoothly but so we could keep on you know telling him to be very careful due to the pandemic because people are losing their lives and all that he could say okay then things really got worse with the pandemic in china and all around the world so during that time so we could not hear again from that Asian guy. She started wondering what happened to him. Maybe, you know, he lost his life in the pandemic. You know, it was very, very down. Because those us, yes, had grown feelings towards that Asian guy. You know, we're seeing that Asian guy as the future husband. So him disappearing like that really broke her heart. And she kept on feeling like maybe he is no more. So at the time Toei wanted to move on with her life, after I think three months, that's when this guy texted her. When he texted her, she was like, where were you? Why did you get lost? <laughs> and you know, in China, they don't use WhatsApp. So she was like, maybe it's because there was no WhatsApp. But when he returned, he was like, no, I went to America for business and after being in America, I went to Canada and I'm actually stranded here. I can't take a flight, come to Zambia because there are no flights due to the lockdown. So Toei tells us that's when their relationship became a long distance one. They kept on communicating, but their communication wasn't all that steady due to seven hours difference yeah so things kept on but not all that good the asian guy told toey when things calm down a bit and maybe from zambia to canada you can come why can't you come here i will prepare all the documents needed just let me know when you are ready but toey sat down and asked herself questions first of all it's not that she knew that guy very very well not all that much yes they had gone on lots of dates yes they were chatting but she still needed more time wasn't ready to take that risk you know to travel from zambia to canada go meet this guy in a foreign country someone that has never traveled outside of zambia also was like this guy is not a canadian so how am i going to even obtain the visa <laughs> to go to canada and thirdly tells us at that time was young but not only being young was not financially stable so it's not that she had lots of money in her bank account that if she could have traveled go to canada then anything happens to her in canada she has money to come back to zambia no she did not have so in the end she could make corners whenever this asian guy could tell her about <laughs> starting the visa process asian guy understood that she wasn't serious she wasn't ready to travel and decided to end the relationship yeah on her side was kind of heartbroken because was hoping maybe this guy will be like i am coming to zambia but came to find out he wasn't going to go back to zambia so they ended it remained heartbroken and single so guys after breaking up with that asian guy tells us that was 2019 2020 there <laughs> still wanted to find a guy that will treat her right will treat her good will take her out on dates buy her flowers <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's the kind of guy she still wanted she always wanted and then there is another black guy that was asking her out insisting and insisting they met on instagram so because she was single and this guy really looked decent a nice guy <laughs> <laughs> decided to give that black guy that zambian guy a chance you know to go out and yes they arranged the guy went to pick her at her house she was super super happy took her to this fancy restaurant <laughs> yeah they arrived ordered food ordered wine ate the whole time all was going smoothly they were laughing you know and 
when it all ended she was like i really liked how our date went and i hope i wish <laughs> we're gonna have a second date guys afro cinema <laughs> That's when this Zambian guy looked at her and he was like, do you know how much I've spent here on this date? I've ordered the best wine. Do you know how much it costs? And you're telling me about the second date. The second date, we are going at my house. Oh, you will be the one to pay for that second date. Oh, goodness. Toei was in a shock. <laughs> surprised i was like why are you ruining everything everything was going well the guy was like no the second date is at my house my home we are not coming to the restaurant so from there the date ended but she knew deep in her heart that this is not the kind of guy i want so hard to end it and again came another black guys she decided to give that zambian guy a chance they started dating and thought maybe the guy you know would take her out but no whenever they could plan to go out on a date the guy could be hanging out with friends and sometimes could want Toei to go and hang out with them so she got so disappointed and that's when Toei was like i'm done done with black guys i'm done done with zambian men so after she was done with zambian men you know took time for herself focused on herself but was like let me try again tinder so again joined tinder tried but it did not work out guys i'm telling you all this or i always tell you stories into details to see where these women come from because I always read your messages like she's so lucky. Oh my God, why am I suffering like this? But you forget that these ladies too that found love online and then their stories worked out, they faced challenges. Very, very few ladies, lucky ones, that find love without facing lots of challenges on the dating sites or even in real life. So yes, guys, when Toy was like, I'm done with Zambian men, decided to try Tinder out again. But tells us a year before, <laughs> when she joined Tinder, had matched with an Italian guy. That Italian guy had his parents living in Zambia, Lusaka. But the guy was living in Italy, but he could go to Zambia to visit, you know, visit the parents. So at that time when they matched on Tinder, Toei tells us she was not all that interested in him romantically, not at all. First of all, he was two years younger than her. Second, she couldn't manage a long distance relationship because he was living in Italy. So they remained as friends. So a year after, after being like, I'm done with Zambian guys, tried Tinder, things were not working out. Then the Italian guy that was chatting with her as a friend returned. So when this Italian guy reached out to Toei, <laughs> Toei tells us was single and ready to mingle. Though a month ago had met another Lebanese guy on a girl's night out at the club and started dating that Lebanese guy. All was going super. The guy was spoiling her. The guy was buying her perfume, treating her really, really good. Though that guy was kind of jealousy sometimes when he could message Toei and she takes long to respond. The guy could change completely, stops acting nice, becomes really, really bad. <laughs> yeah. So in the course of dating that Lebanese guy, Toei again had to do a background check on that guy. And that's when she found out that that Lebanese guy was married confronted him he was like no yes before i was married but i'm no longer married have one kid you're just co-parenting <laughs> ah man men will always be men 
Yeah, but it's not true. He was still married and Toei tells us at the time they used to hang out, could always be with his brother-in-law. Yeah. So imagine someone telling you, I'm no longer with her, but hanging out with her brother. <laughs> yeah, so when Toei found out he was married, was like, I'll never date a married guy, decided to end things. Though the Lebanese guy kept on like trying, wanting to get back to Toei. And then comes in this Italian guy when Toei had ended things with the Lebanese guy. So yeah, they started chatting, the Italian guy telling her, you're gonna be so happy dating an Italian guy. So he tells us Italian guys too have got sweet Tongue. yes they've got sweet words that will melt your heart <laughs> so he was telling her that oh you're gonna enjoy dating an italian guy and told her that he's planning to come to zambia and eventually yes he went to zambia they met went on a date that day they were super super happy together there was chemistry they talked a lot of the time that they were just friends there was nothing and they were like yeah now really we feel connected so after dinner I decided to go to a nightclub and that nightclub is the same same nightclub that the lebanese guy used to go almost every single night <laughs> And that's where she met the Lebanese guy. <laughs> but had chatted, because sometimes, yes, the Lebanese guy could chat with her. So he had told her that he is sick. <laughs> yeah, so she knew the guy wasn't going to be there. So decided to go to this nightclub, arrived, and when they sat down, you know, they took some drinks first before they start dancing, because they're all into dancing, you know, nightclubbing. At that time, Toei tells you. So yeah, when they were there, here comes another Afro cinema. <laughs> Comes a Zambian lady, walks onto their table and introduces herself, telling him, do you remember me? We matched on Tinder. And the guy was like, yes, how are you? Then Toe is like, wait a minute, are you entertaining other women? <laughs> then the guy says, no, I'm chatting with only you. Then Toe jokingly was like, give me your phone. <laughs> she took his phone and went through the messages and yes, she was the only lady chatting with the Italian guy. She was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> so the night continued. They danced and again sat down on their table, you know, to talk. Then here comes the Lebanese guy that was supposed to be at home, sick, on a sick bed. <laughs> when he walked in, oh my God, started giving them, you know, that dirty looks and he could go to their table all the time, acting weird, very jealous. <laughs> to an extent, an Italian guy had to ask Toei, who is this guy? <laughs> Toei was like, he's my ex. Oh, I see you like white guys, don't you? <laughs> Toei was super, super embarrassed tells us with that but the italian guy told her no i'm not worried this shows me that you really like me yeah so they continued their night and it reached to an end they went home so arriving home the Lebanese guy sends her the messages, starts telling her, Toei, I can't believe you allowed that Italian guy to treat you like that. I treated you like a queen. As you we are going out last night, I saw you walking behind that Italian guy. What kind of a guy is he making a woman walk behind him? <laughs> That's so disrespectful. I'll never treat you like that. I gave you everything. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you want you decide to choose him trying to make himself like a better person <laughs> but the guy was simply jealous <laughs> yeah so we responded to him was like yeah i chose him <laughs> He kept on trying and trying, but Toei never went back to that Lebanese guy. So the relationship between Toei and the Italian guy continued, but Toei tells us she wasn't all that open to him because the guy was two years younger than her and that kept on worrying her. Also, her past love relationship experiences kept on tormenting her and... 
you know everything got mixed up she started pulling back and the italian guy noticed he also kind of pulled back but again so he had to sit down and was like maybe this guy might be a good guy why can't i give it again a shot and see how it goes so at the time she wanted to build their relationship so we lost one of the family members so when she checked on the italian guy the italian guy was preparing to go back to italy so things remained like that but they remained chatting as friends and toy told him when you come back to zambia yeah just come and we link up it ended like that with the italian guy so guys when toi ended it with an italian guy remained single but tells us all her friends were in good healthy relationships and she was there single so talked to herself and was like you know what i still believe good guys exist out there so she decided to go on google and searched for international dating sites and then international cupid came up when international cupid came up she joined after joining two guys were interested in her so the first guy they chatted and chatted then <laughs> this fool this loser <laughs> started telling toy he is only looking for that intimate bond so toy had to end it <laughs> then another one that really seemed serious was looking for a serious relationship they chatted and chatted later the guy was like he doesn't want to have kids in the future and toy wanted to have kids in the future so hard to end it and was very very disappointed tells you sometimes you are on the apps i know you guys that are still on the dating sites you can relate you chat with a guy and you think oh my god i found the one then suddenly he turns not to be the one it really hurts a lot yeah so she got hurt and was there you know frustrated <laughs> then he said to go back to tinder so when she go back to tinder tells us you know with these dating sites sometimes it is hot 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 like when you join you got lots of guys to chat to everyone is crazy about you it's so overwhelming and sometimes it's cold no one is even noticing your profile <laughs> you can relate to this too <laughs> but i have a tip for you here guys the good good times to search for men online especially those serious men is during the weekends because those guys that are working the guys that we target you know working guys guys who have got business guys who are financially stable not rich guys weekends most don't work so most serious guys during the weekends you will find them online another hot hot times <laughs> to find a serious guy online is during the evening never search for a white guy in the morning <laughs> if it is in the morning in his country never because <laughs> you only meet those guys that are jobless so such at the time you know it is in the evening in his country because those who work will be home and maybe they've got few time to chat with you because they are single they don't have a wife or a girlfriend to keep them busy of course they will be searching and you will meet him at that time so toy was saying there is a time it is hot hot you get lots of attention but there is another time it is really down so when she went back on tinder it was that time when it was cold on tinder <laughs> no one was even paying attention to her or giving her attention <laughs> yeah so she was at the point of giving up guys giving up completely was like no way so now which of my ex should i give a chance and we get back together yeah she was at that point so yes guys toi took a break on the dating sites was there you know frustrated to find that right man and it wasn't happening then was like today i'm going to log in into the dating sites 
if I don't find any message from anyone, I am done today. I'm going to delete all dating sites because to me, this seems like a wastage of time. Mind you guys, Stowey has never paid for any dating app or site. So yeah, she decided to log in. And when she logged in, found two messages from two cute, cute guys, <laughs> juicy ones. And one of them, she couldn't understand his message. But the second guy was Italian, sent her a message and wanted her to follow him on Instagram so that they can keep chatting there. So she accepted, was like, why not? So went to Instagram and started chatting with that cute Italian guy. So when she went to Instagram, they started chatting. The conversation was flowing. The Italian guy was crazy for her. And Toei too liked the guy very, very well. At that time, Toei had started to watch my videos. So what she could do could always send the videos <laughs> to the Italian guy and tell him, what do you think of this person? What do you think of this? You know, to make him understand that she is aware of how things go. <laughs> so if you're a bad guy, better run as soon as possible because I will know you. <laughs> I'm informed. And yes, the Italian guy kept on watching my videos. Yes, they could discuss sometimes when they could watch one of my videos. Yeah, it kept on like that, all going good. So guys, after chatting with that Italian guy for one month, he introduced her to his twin sister oh my god she was super super happy and then happened there was a birthday of his grandmother he called on a video call and introduced story to the mother to the grandma oh my god and the sister too talked to her again she was so happy so he tells you that italian guys are family guys yeah he will involve his family if he is really in love with you because his family is very very important but on toy's side she did not introduce him yet to his family because tells us you know our african culture you can't just introduce a guy just like that you have to be sure <laughs> if you introduce him then he should be the guy that will marry you. So it really took her some time before she introduced Leo to her family. Yes, he was wondering why is she not introducing me? But she just kept on postponing, I will introduce you, I will introduce you, don't worry. So after one month and a half of chatting, of communicating, oh my God, all was going well. He could spoil her, send her gifts, even on her birthday, bought her a birthday cake, all was. So one month and a half, then Leo told her, I would like you to come to Italy, get to see my life, stay for three weeks. We get to know each other. You know, actually he was planning that so it goes during the Christmas time. If you have been watching my videos, I told you this, that most of these white guys, especially Italians, Christmas is very, very important to them. Christmas is family time. So when you see a guy is inviting you during Christmas, just know that that guy has got nothing to hide from you and he considers you as part of his family because there is no way he will invite you in his country during Christmas period and you spend the Christmas time, the two of you, no way. He will take you to meet his family because at Christmas, he will be with his family. So Leo wanted her to be in Italy during Christmas. Another thing that is for sure with Italian guys, if you're chatting with an Italian guy <laughs> and you'd like to know some of the facts about Italian guys, they don't like to chat a lot, like chat with a lady for years. No, if you're chatting with an Italian guy, it has been years and you haven't met yet. <laughs> 
he's not planning you know to close the distance girl that guy is only wasting your time because italians don't like to chat like chat and chat and chat no he chats with you a few months he wants to meet you in person and make things serious you know do concrete plans when both of you are sure but an italian guy will never chat you for so long yeah let me hope this is helpful to you so leo after chatting one and a half month with toi he invited her to italy and that's when they started their visa process and that's the time toi talked to her mother and told her about leo her mother was so happy then told the aunt and tells us this helped a lot because the aunt and the mother helped to grow their relationship because sometimes they could fight you know those fights that happens between couples until we could block him then he could look for the mother and be like please talk to toi <laughs> or could look for the aunt please aunt <laughs> talk to toi and yeah they could bring them back together <laughs> Yeah, so sometimes if you don't have a broken family or if you have family members that you really trust It is good to let them know they can be of a help to you Attention if you know your family is a broken one don't even dare to do this So yes guys, they started the visa process and you know how it can be stressful so she started even seeing the friction <laughs> <laughs> in her relationship because Leo was so tensed wanted everything to go right so that she can get that visa she prepared all the documents did all research about the visa process possibly asked questions everything that you know guys yeah she was over prepared and the day to go to the embassy came, she went to the embassy, but arriving there when she was handling over the documents, oh my God, the lady that took her documents started getting irritated, started telling her, why did you bring this document? It's not needed. Why did you bring this document? Like pushing documents to her, even gave to her back the traveling insurance and Leo's bank statement and was like, these are not needed. She left and when she arrived where, you know, at the gate, I had said in one of my videos that those guards at the gate, they are always so good <laughs> to encourage you. <laughs> so she even remembered that video because the guards acted so nice with her. I was like, oh, you seem positive. You seem happy. How is everything? She was like, yeah, all is good. But tells us at that time wanted to cry, was holding her tears. <laughs> and she went out when she reached home, told the mother. The mother works at the embassy, Norwegian embassy, but on the family reunion department. Her mother had helped her with all the documents and the information that is needed. So when the mother heard what had happened, she really got so angry, was like, how could they treat you like that? Why? She decided to write an email to them to complain and they responded saying they are sorry that, you know, that lady acted like that towards her. But Leo was there wondering, ah, this visa, it means if it is the same, same lady to grant me the visa, my visa is denied already. Yeah, so she waited and the time for her to go pick her passport came. She went to pick her passport. When she arrived, it was a denial. To Toei, it wasn't a surprise, but it hurts. It really hurts. Yeah, she was so disappointed and very heartbroken. Again, the guards, you know, encouraged her. She was like, yeah, it's okay, not the end of the world talked to Leo, told him everything. Leo was so disappointed, guys. Very, very disappointed. And I told you at that time, that is when you will know if really <laughs> that guy loves you or he is just, you know, playing games. Because it needs someone that really has that strong, strong love. So guys, when Toei got denied the visa, of course, Leo knew about my channel. And that's when... Leo wrote to me, 
when he wrote to me he introduced himself and he told me of the visa denial and wanted some guidance so yes i talked to leo we exchanged messages i tried to ask him questions but there is a point we reached i was like it's gonna be hard for your girlfriend to get that visa and do you know what he told me guys he was like you know what bella i love my girlfriend i will do anything that takes to be with her so if it is to go to zambia get married to her i will do that i will go for my girlfriend i love her so so much and i was like that's super good zambian ladies are the best they are super super good i remember there is a message i shared with you talking about this guy <laughs> yeah so today is their story and he was like bella i will update you when i travel to zambia to meet my girlfriend i wished him all the best and from that time i didn't hear again from leo and you know how i'm busy i never even checked on him to ask what happened and to be honest, uh, we are doing even that step uh, so early, even because we know that we will love each other for the rest of their life. But uh, even because uh, our idea is that when I come back here in Italy, after staying a month there, we, uh, we want to apply with the reunion family visa because then she will be my wife. So there are high probabilities, as you know, that they will, see, they will say yes because they can say no to have my wife yeah to stay together and uh, you're lucky too <laughs> to have met a zambian lady they are very very nice very nice women very nice i've got some zambian friends ladies who are married already here somewhere in germany some are, um are in the uk us so yeah you, you're lucky. <laughs> okay, I wish you all the best. So yes, guys, a lot of time passed. And recently, that is when Towi wrote to me and was like, I want to share my love story, inspire other ladies out there. And I was like, yes, why not? <laughs> it's okay, but are you married? Are you guys together? <laughs> So yes guys, she told me yes, we are married. That is why I was like, sure, go ahead and share your love story. Yeah, so that's when she shared this love story that I am sharing with you. Now we go to where we stopped, when she got denied the visa. So when the visa got denied, yes, Leo told Towi that I am coming to Zambia to marry you. And then we do the visa process, a family reunion visa. Note, I am coming to marry you. And then <laughs> you come with a work visa or I'm going to try a study visa. Nothing like that. A family reunion visa. Let's be careful. No one should marry you and leave you in Africa for no good reason. Okay? If you decided to get married in Africa, you didn't get a chance to see this guy's life in his country, that's fine. But after marriage, make sure you go join him in his country. Remember, after getting married, make sure your marriage is registered. It is known to in his country hear me guys hear me i don't want to see you guys coming back crying okay so yes so leo started preparing himself and because he talked about getting married that is when Toei told him about the bride price afro cinema leo was like no i cannot pay the bride price it's not in our culture it's like i am buying you <laughs> <laughs> but Toei tried to make him understand and he had to tell his mother about it and his mother was like if it is their culture you have to respect her culture you have to pay the bride price even if it is not in your culture so Leo understood and <laughs> that small Afro cinema ended he accepted to pay the bride price to respect Toei's culture 
So yeah, the time to travel came after those three months of her visa denial. Leo went to Zambia and she prepared herself, went to the airport with her relatives, you know, to pick him. Oh my God, it was super beautiful. I'm going to be putting a clip here how he was welcomed in Zambia. It was so beautiful <laughs> to watch. Enjoy, guys. <laughs> Go, go, go. Nice to meet you. Clara. You've got everything? Yeah, my wife. So after the airport went to the hotel where he had booked. And after arriving in the hotel, these people had agreed not to enjoy the goodies <laughs> before marriage. <laughs> but no, <laughs> the way they were feeling, it betrayed them. It never happened. They enjoyed the goodies <laughs> on that first night when Leo landed in Zambia. And it went super, super good. <laughs> Goodies, lovers, now you are happy. <laughs> yeah. So Leo had planned to stay in Zambia three weeks. But when he arrived, decided to extend his visa so that they get to know each other better. But on her side, they were already talking about the marriage that was to happen. And here comes Afro Cinema. So it tells us some of her family members were happy for her on her mom's side because apparently her parents had divorced. Yeah. So there were two sides that got divided. Yeah. On her mom's side, they were happy, but on her dad's side, there were loads of fights. They were not coming into an agreement. Cause the plan was do a civil wedding with few family members and close friends. But on her dad's side, they wanted that big wedding. They were not accepting that at all, at all. But what her mom did, her mom sat her down, was like, Toi, my daughter, you are an adult. You know what you want in your life. Choose what you are going to do and us or me as your mother i will follow i will support you and that's what Tori did you know had to make her own decisions and stand on her ground do as they had planned with her boyfriend leo yeah to have that small civil wedding so on this too, oh my God, guys, be very, very careful. <laughs> I'm repeating. Some families are broken, like very, very broken. I have a baby of mine whereby <laughs> the boyfriend has been supporting her. Even the house where she lives in with her aunt is the boyfriend that has been paying for that. When the aunt gets sick, it's the boyfriend that sends money to the aunt you know, <laughs> to go to the hospital. He even wants to open a business for the aunt. But when this boyfriend traveled to that lady's country, <laughs> the aunt turned and became like a co-wife. <laughs> this is so funny. I'll be bringing her story <laughs> very, very soon because it is still in the making. <laughs> 
but I was totally surprised how that aunt really acted. Never wanted these people to spend time together. Live alone enjoying the goodies. <laughs> told the niece you're not going to sleep with this man <laughs> you will sleep in a separate room and he will sleep in a separate room no time even to hug and kiss the aunt could stand on the door <laughs> ah, some people are wicked like really really wicked <laughs> whenever the aunt could see them talking <laughs> this aunt <laughs> could call the niece that wants to talk to her. Oh my God. Totally like a co-wife. So guys always stand on your grounds cause if you entertain such kind of an aunt, you are going to ruin your relationship. <laughs> yeah, dear African ladies, cause I'm an African and I know unfortunately how things can go sometimes so yeah her mom told her those who will come will come those who don't want to come it's okay i'm here to support you my daughter and yes guys they arranged the wedding he paid the bride price and the big day came they went got married you know it was a civil wedding with few friends and families yeah all was super super good i'm going to be sharing with you their wedding photos here so that you too can enjoy how everything went <music> to say congratulations to you Towi and Leo. May God keep protecting your marriage. Guys, let us wish them all the best in their marriage. So guys, after getting married, the Afro cinema continued between families. Things went far to an extent of going to court. Yeah, sadly. So when things went to court, her mom won. And when her mom won, the judge ordered either for them to reconcile or things to go really, really bad, really, really far. And in the end, they reconciled. You know, tells us it is family. Family will always be family. And they decided to let the bygones be the bygones. So guys, on Towi and Leo's side, after their wedding, they went and registered their marriage at the Italian embassy. And after registering their marriage, Leo returned back to Italy. They started again the long distance relationship. It wasn't easy at all. And one month after registering their marriage, she got her marriage certificate. When she got her marriage certificate, started the visa process for the family reunion visa. But Tos us was super scared. Was like, I pray I don't find the same same woman <laughs> that denied me the visa. But arriving at the embassy, <laughs> found the same same woman and looked at her was like, you again. <laughs> And why last time I deny you the visa, Toei told her. She was like, you see, so you are not going to come back. <laughs> Toei was like, no, he came here and we had to get married. <laughs> yes, yeah, so she applied for that family reunion visa and was told to go back after one week. But guys, with her first denial, they had said that she didn't have the traveling insurance whereby the traveling insurance they gave it to her like the lady returned the document you know and said it is not needed ah 
sometimes these embassies when it comes to approving the visa they just look for a small reason or just something to not approve your visa yeah that is how i see it you know according to my own experience <laughs> but it is what it is they got a solution and now was waiting for her family reunion visa so guys she was told to go after one week and after that one week went to the embassy and yes <laughs> her visa was approved to go to italy reunite with her husband went home happy told the relatives they were happy for her and sad at the same time because she was going to leave them and join the husband in italy <laughs> yeah so she started preparing and when everything was ready traveled came to italy where she is right now so when she came with her story <laughs> as we were talking she started mentioning the name of the husband that is when i remembered the guy that i talked to too i guided <laughs> I was like, oh my god, it's Leo. Just tell him I'm so mad at him right now. <laughs> Why didn't he come back to tell me what happened? <laughs> but I'm happy for you guys. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how it all went. So guys, from the time they met each other on the dating site to the time they got married, they had known each other for 10 months. Yeah, 10 good months. If you were wondering. And if you were wondering too, the name of the dating app or site where they met, they met on International Cupid. Tells us tried only two dating apps. But it was a dating app and a dating site because Tinder is a dating app. International Cupid is a dating site. Never paid, I repeat. So she tells you that most of the challenges that she faced on the dating apps, dating sites, is that she could come across lots of time wasters. And the second was that could connect to people and feel like all is working out, but later couldn't work out if you're facing that and maybe you're about to give up you feel like it will never work out think of toey's story she went through that too but eventually found the one and dear friends before i end this video i know some of you might be aware but those who are not aware Toei is a content creator. She has got a YouTube channel which goes by the name of Loving Toei. I'll be putting it here so that you can see how it is written so that you can search it on YouTube. Give her the support. Support your girl. She shares lifestyle vlogs and like I've always said, we have got something to learn from each other. So, I believe you guys are going to support loving Toei. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. Be blessed. So, guys, I have ended my part. Now we are bringing Toei and her husband, you know, <laughs> so that you can get to hear from Leo too. Part of his experience, they're going to be sharing with you too some tips and tricks when it comes to online dating. Welcome, Toei and Leo. Hello, my name is Salomi. Hi, my name is Leo. Okay, so um, we're just going to do a short interview of me asking my husband a few questions which I think some people would be interested in. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you excited? Hello. Okay, so let's get into it. So, what made you join dating sites? Um, I started honestly. It was me to advise to my dad, to my father, uh, because my parents are the worst to be. In, and I said that, but it was Italian. Like people around you, they were just in a few kilometers around you, around your place. And then you know. 
how Google suggests other things you find out this other site they instead post international so you can have the possibility to talk with people all, all over around the world so and then he he said to me you know I'm talking to people from Japan doing this I'm doing that I was so excited about that that he bring me into that you know and I said okay I create a profile why not I, I always like him to travel to you know meet other people that speak other languages that have different cultures so I see why not let's see how it is if I find someone interesting maybe then I have a before a conversation then maybe there's the possibility to meet one day who knows and that's how it start the things even because I was totally single at that time okay so how did you find the dating site experience and how long did it take for you to find me at the beginning I didn't like that so much because I say yeah it's cool that you can have a possibility to watch uh, like uh, pictures and uh, then there are there was like uh, an introduction description of that person make you understand a bit of them by pausing enough then you have to talk we have a real chat conversation it was hard because you just have a few words otherwise if you want to have like uh, uh, a big conversation when you can explain things you can talk about yourself you have to have a, uh, a full uh, the full hub like you have to pay you know for subscription these things me i wasn't so much too into that you know because they were even 50 percent these things so i just gave me just the last day when i was uh, really into that and uh try even go over my my mental things you know like uh let's see everybody for every place everything and uh yeah if there's someone interesting okay otherwise goodbye i will delete it and then uh, for real it happened then i i saw her uh, i like her pictures and then you know it arrives the, the like back and then i start to send a message with a few words that i got in my possibility and i say help that she understand my my way the way to communicate so we can go in another place then to talk so i just write my few letters of my name on instagram she did back to me and then when i search it i we find each other and uh, we start to talk there and this time it was so easy you know it was it's totally free and uh, can have the possibility even to watch other pictures and full conversation about us then that's how how it started then it changed the number i was speaking what's up video calls and everything like right? so easy okay so when we met mm -hmm. so when we met i remember you said i don't want to get married so what <laughs> changed <laughs> what what made that change for you yeah i've been single for a couple of years and uh, Pretty, I was 28, 28 years old in that moment. So it's age like uh, you're not too young, you're not too old. And, uh, but you start to have some knowledge of yourself, your experience. So uh, about that, I was pretty sure to don't have, like, uh, to don't be in that mind to be engaged for the whole life. It was just 10% of that, 90% no. 10% only if you, meet for real the person that you feel like home you know that you have good communication and you love the person that you can put her in front of even your needs and, and that she was to start to picture even her family and stuff it's odd but the, the truth is that some people do just because it's the age just because it's what they miss in life to have something that point to reach me said that I, I wasn't in, wasn't interested in that. It's cool because then it's what you really want. It's not what you need. So 
that's what I thought in the moment when I changed my mind, just because uh, uh, I want that, I didn't need that, because it wasn't so important for me, like the marriage was really important still in the person and the relationship. And uh, so yeah, then about the feeling that he starts, each other start to love her, to miss her, these things. Uh, I say, yeah, he's the, he's the person for me, 100%. I don't know, you just, it's not something I received that you can tell. Just uh, I think that you feel that inside yourself. What advice would you give to people on um, international dating sites? What advice would you give to the ladies? What advice would you give to the fellas? Um, advice generally to both of them just to to be free to know everybody, you know, just to be with the mind like close like uh, I don't like this or maybe if you like that it's not for me just start with uh, even if you got different point of view you know maybe there will be different development of the situation that you, that you don't know so and then just to be be yourself you know and show around what's really around you in your life yeah so then people can appreciate you for what you are and uh, can even avoid scammers because it's even true there's no don't have only to talk about the good part there are human people that are just there for because they don't know what to do in life you know just these things are just to take advantages of what you got your situation so but you don't have to have be worried no just, uh, just be yourself, the good will, will come. That's true. This is just a short interview. I think we're going to end it there for you. Um, <laughs> okay, I think we're going to end um, the interview here. We're just going to keep it short. Um, so for me, my advice to the ladies would be, you know, just be yourself. Don't pretend to be somebody that you're not. Because when you find um, the man of your dreams, obviously, imagine if the tables turned and this person just completely pretended to be something that they're not. You wouldn't be happy. So, you know, just be yourself. Be open. Don't hold back. Sometimes you guys may clash. And I know for us ladies, we're taught like, no... Um, keep the peace and whatever yes you can keep the peace but you can also be open just um openly share where your concerns are and you know don't hold back you know just be open so that you guys can learn to understand each other and learn to you know um how can i say learn how to openly accept that person into your life because that person needs to know you inside out. So if you're holding things back, that person will never learn you. So you just have to be open, you know, learn how to voice your concerns, obviously in a respectful way. And yeah, um, for your dating profiles, make sure you have interesting pictures. I feel like a lot of people, you know, complain about not having good enough profile pictures. Just, you know, find good lighting, take a good photo, you know, look nice. And if you're like a makeup girly, um don't just put pictures of you just in makeup make sure you also have some natural pictures so that he knows what you look like um naturally but yeah so just be yourself don't pretend to be something that you're not and yeah because even for me like in our situation i knew i wanted to get married someday and he for him it wasn't something that was you know something that he really considered and if i never said that hey look me for me i wanted to get married imagine if i just continued to say oh yeah it's okay if we don't get married and we just keep on dating i don't think him and i would be here today you know what i mean so just be open be honest be yourself and yeah and hopefully oh yeah most importantly know your worth because some people will not know your worth but that shouldn't let you down you know you could be a good woman you could you know you could be the best woman out there but if someone doesn't appreciate you like you for who you are that's not the person for you 
and i promise if you know your worth and you stand on your ground you will find the right person for you don't settle for the bare minimum you know what i mean when somebody really loves you you don't even have to question it they're going to show you and they're going to know that this person is very valuable and you know they'll appreciate you for who you are so sorry so we just had a little cut so yeah just make sure that you know your worth and know who you are don't change for anyone or don't you know compact yourself into a little box just to um be very digestible for the person that you're that you're talking to just be yourself be open voice have a voice for yourself be respectful and you'll find your person so i think that's where we're just going to end things today and yeah so follow my youtube channel it's loving toy we you definitely see more of our life and our journey through um long distance and you know relocating to a new country and just how married life is for me so thank you for watching I think I'm going to leave things to Bella now. Ciao. Ciao a tutti. Forse Dani. <laughs> so dear friends, we have reached an end of our today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video till now. I know it has been a long one, but be blessed guys for your support to watch till now. Please give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something comment below what you think about this video don't forget to watch my other videos too they are super super good you will learn a lot if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for support you girl join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.